Hello, dear Finnabare friends. I have a bit different uh, idea for you for using um, the new mica powders. I do adore um, dyeing laces and silks and uh, fabric. And I have found mica powders to be something that's really easy and uh, fun to use. So I am going to show you how I do it. And you can, of course, um, twist it for your um, needs if necessary. Uh, here are some examples I have made. Uh, these uh, are made using pearls and crystals set. Mainly the purple and a hint of the dusty rose one. And these, can you see how they sparkle? These I have um, dyed using one Winter Tales mica powder and the new Jewel uh, Effect Paste Crust Crystals. And I am going to show you how to use that shiny effect too. I love it, at least uh, in um, modest portions. Glitter isn't um, my forte, so to speak, except during Christmas time. Okay, but you need um, fabrics or silks, or, or I actually don't have any silk here. Well... I do have here a ribbon. This is uh, already uh, tea dyed, but never mind. Okay, so you are going to need something you are um, comfortable with uh, testing and dyeing. Uh, you might not want to use um, synthetic fibers like these. These are all natural fibers. Um, if you are in a hurry and you need to use your heating tool because uh, heat and um, uh, synthetic fabrics or fibers do not um, go hand in hand. They are not in friendly terms. Uh, your laces will melt. Uh, you might also want to use something um, as the base that you don't mind that uh, well you need to throw it away afterwards because it's going to um, hold really fast so I'm going to use this um, recycled paper uh, pl uh, plate um, and because I want the color to actually stay in the, our fibers instead of um, getting into my hands whenever I touch them, I am going to use soft matte gel. Not soft gloss gel because uh, it's uh, gloss and I'm not comfortable with the idea of my laces getting a bit um, glossy and sticky. But also, you might want some um, baby wipes at hand because this is a somewhat messy thing to do. Okay, so this one I have already used. This set I have already used. And... And... Trousers. I think I need to test some pink lace to do something nice about it. Okay, so soft matte gel. Mm. A big brush or uh, also a palette knife will do.
and it's up to you how um well let's test on this one color first i am going to get it watered down a bit because uh the more you use soft matte gel to uh, stiffer your uh, laces uh, will be but you want uh, some of it in there because otherwise uh, the powder will just come off okay and it's uh, this easy just dip it in there and because there is a lot of um, stuff uh, in it already I usually uh, use it to get two pieces colored because I don't need much color in there. Okay, this is the original color and this is a hint of tiny rosy uh, colored. Okay, let's put a bit more in there, so there is a shade difference in here. Okay, and the same with the silk. Okay, for this one I want just just to um word of warning uh it took two days to get my uh hands clean after i had used the darkest shade of the winter um tails one um uh, micro powders and rolled the <laughs> in my hand because well it really holds fast and I'm doing this because I want to make sure that it's completely absorbed the color. Okay. You see? How lovely. Shade of pink. So now these will be perfect for some ro romantic um, art journaling to you know go with hand in hand all the colors I'm taking a bit more of this Use uh, a bit darker shade. Hmm. I think I'll use this one.
Okay, I think you got the idea.、Um, how to do it? I use using mica powders for dyeing fabrics, and now I'm just cleaning a bit my fingers to you to show you how to use jewel effect paste. Okay, I'm going. Actually, close this one. Oh, that's the point. So it was soft material I used for making、um, the powders stick, and now I'm taking. Show you. You can simply do it just like with the mica powder, mica powders. And when it、uh, dries, it will be beautifully、um, shiny. Uh, one, but this will make、um, your fabrics a bit stiff. So it will be a brilliant、um, new tool to create some embellishments from your lazy stuff. But it also means that、um, they are not the best for. You know, trying to squeeze them in a way you usually try try to blend and so on them. So after this has dried, it will also be a glowy one. You don't need that much. I think you will see when it dries that it simply has.、Uh, Nice little shine in there. Okay, so if I want, for example, this one to be a glittery one, I simply add some in there. You see the sign? It's gorgeous. It's simply beautiful. Put on some more. It's pink after all. So ha! Look at this. Just my, just my thing. Okay, I have a bit more here, so I'll use it like this. And now it changed too. Okay, so fun new ways of exploring、uh, to make mica powders and jewel paste. Not、uh, <laughs> obvious uses, the kinds of use, but definitely worth of trying. So here they are,、uh, and. I'll thank you for watching. I'll try to clean my fingers.、Um, and、uh, I wish you inspiring moments with the new、uh, mica powders and jewel paste. Thank you so much for watching, and bye bye.